Hey, Diva. How are you all today? Well, this evening. Um, it's kind of late. It's about 10 o'clock now, but um, I just had a request to do a contouring and highlighting video. So, um, I'm, what I'm here to do, I mean, there's no further explanation. So, the general concept of highlighting and contouring is to pretty much highlight and accentuate the parts of the face that when in natural light, it automatically kind of reflects off of your face anyway. Um, and as far as contouring is concerned, it's to kind of um, pretty much shadow and make certain aspects of your face that you, you know, may not be comfortable with or whatever the case may be, kind of shadow it out and make appear slimmer. So, what you will need, well, I'm not even going to say what you'll need. How I do my highlighting and um, contouring is what I'm going to show you today. Um, it varies from person to person, so I'm just going to show you what works best for me. So, um, once your brows are, um, brows are done and um, your foundation is applied, um, these are the steps that I take to highlight and contour my face. So what I'll be using um, is a couple variations of um, concealers and powders. Just get right to it. So as you can see, I have foundated my face and I've done my eyebrows. And if you can tell, there's a bit of a highlight um, in my brow and the brow bone so I'm just going to pretty much take it from there and um, what I'll be using at this point um, is just a synthetic um, concealer brush foundation brush whatever of your choice um, I'll be using this as just a synthetic brush that I got from some random palette I'm sure so, what I'm going to take now is my concealer, which is a um, black opal color in Truly Topaz, and I, which is this one right here. And that's what I'll be, that's what I use to highlight. It's like when I do my brows and stuff, this is what I use to highlight. So what I'm going to do is pick some of that up on my brush. And I'm just going to place it underneath the eyes. Like so. And at this point... Um, at this point, you can either use a sponge or continue to use the brush to kind of smooth it out. I'm just going to use my fingers because, it, like I said, this is how I do it. This is what works best for me. So, I'm just going to get up under the eye and just kind of blend it out. like so and it really shouldn't be that big of a contrast between the two colors um unless of course you know you're going for the whole drag queen look which i love but um <laughs> as far as right now we're just going to kind of keep it subtle so you want to kind of concentrate on your t-zone area Right up here through the forehead, underneath the eyes. Um, when you contour your nose, what you'll want to do is take some of the light color and do it down the bridge of the nose. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. 
down the bridge of the nose. And just kind of smooth that out with your hand, with your fingers, I'm sorry. It should look like this. Now for the contouring part, I have yet to master to do that with um, cream yet. Something I need to practice on. But um, I like to use a variation of powders. And what I'm going to start with with the contouring is in my Coastal Scents 6 color contour palette. Looks like this on the inside. And I'm going to start with this dark brown right here. Is a fluffy dome shaped brush like this. This is um, Essence of Beauty. An Essence of Beauty brush. It has this dome shaped part down here at the bottom. And then on the other side, it has a um, an angled blush brush, which can also work good with contouring, but I like this in better. You take your hands and you press down on the cheek. There's a hollow part. Right where that hollow part is, right here, is where you want to contour at. So you take the brush after you've applied, after you've picked up some of the, the color and you kind of want to take it in a crescent shape. And I'm holding my hair back because it'll get in the way. But you want to, and if you got to do the fishy face, you can. You, um, I take it from pretty much the temple area. And bring it down into that cheek hollow. So, you just bring it down. You just blend it so you don't have like a harsh, dark line that just goes, you don't want that. So, you just blend it out. And... You should have a nicely contoured cheek on one side. Can you see that? Ooh. Yes, give him face, child. And once that's done, um, now if you were trying to like slim down your, the whole shape of your face, you can take some more of that and just down on the jawline where it automatically creates a shadow right here. Just kind of bring some of that down. and you should just be giving them bone structure from the gods right now. Now, as far as the nose is concerned, um, it's pretty much the same. Now, you've done the light part down the, the bridge. What you'll want to do is pick up a dark color. And I'm using the one that's in this Coastal Scents palette. And you just take it pretty much from where the start of your brow is and just bring it down. Can you see? It picks up really well in like pictures. So that's what a lot of highlighting and contouring is really used for like photo 
type stuff. So that, um, you know, you don't really have to be a Photoshop junkie. You can do it yourself. But, um, yeah. I can't really tell about the nose on my nose. My nose is small anyway, but... Then, of course, once all that's done, you can just go ahead and add your blush and bronzers and all that good stuff. And there it is. You have been contoured and highlighted for the gods so that when you step out and the sun hits your face, it gives everyone that's on the street life. But that's all I had for y'all tonight. Just a quick little how-to. Um, And side note, guess what I found today at Walmart? Yep, you guessed it, in brown. Whoop, 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 whoop. I was so excited. Like, I threw a party in the makeup aisle because I was just that excited. But yeah, that was just a sidebar. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And I'll talk to you later. Smooches.